They call it the Gigabyte Aero 15XC, and they call it the Asus Zephyrus G14. Now the question is, which one of these 8-core, 16-thread, RTX-equipped laptops is the right one for you? Now first and foremost, the reason I'm really stoked about this video is because this was the laptop that I would have recommended that everybody buy last year. When somebody reached out to me, they said, I want a best bang for buck laptop, I would say the Gigabyte Aero 15 is without a doubt the laptop that you should pick. Now. I'm like leaning towards the Asus Zephyrus G14 becoming my favorite best bang for buck laptop. I just reviewed it on the channel a week ago or two and it just blew me away. The smooth, soft, silky, beveled edges, the thin and light capability, the cool temperatures, the quiet fans, the rocking performance out of that new Ryzen 9 5900 HS. And so I just had to do a comparison video between these two. One of the things, and I'll just jump right in, is the build quality. The build quality of this laptop, uh, the Gigabyte Aero 15 XC, is wonderful. It's got aluminum top cover, aluminum keyboard deck, a huge vent on the bottom, uh, which is a aluminum bottom cover, but it has plastic side panels. Uh, one area where I feel like the Asus Zephyrus G14 really wins out is that the side panels extend down off of the keyboard deck and it, it creates a full magnesium alloy keyboard deck and side panels, and then a full magnesium alloy top cover on the Asus Zephyrus G14. Now, the one area that I feel like the, the uh, Aero 15 really wins out is all of the ports. The G14 has a lot of ports, but not compared to the Aero. This is truly an on-the-go creator workstation. You can plug in a bunch of monitors to the Aero 15. You got an SD card slot. It just really gives everything that creators need. However, if you want an on-the-go laptop, the G14 is thinner and lighter and way more on-the-go savvy. And I would say, honestly, maybe a little bit more durable because though I don't know who scratched this laptop, it showed up in my studio scratched. I joked in the last video that I made that Bear Grylls must have reviewed this laptop because it's just scratch, 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 scratch. And since it's been in my studio, I have not scratched it. But that leads me to believe that it is a laptop that can get scratches because at exhibit A, it showed up in my studio scratched. Whereas the Asus Zephyrus G14, the whole time it was here, it had no scratches, didn't show up with scratches. But a concern that some people have is that those little dots on the top cover would end up being a place where grime and dirt would collect. If you're, you know, not the cleanest person when it comes to traveling with your laptop. Maybe you're, you know, you're on set and you're outside or whatever it might be. Now, overall, if I was gonna pick up the laptop on build quality alone, I would go for the Asus Zephyrus G14. I love the build quality. I love the look and feel of that laptop, but let's get into performance because that's where I feel like we're gonna really start to split hairs because the G14 kills it in some apps and the Aero 15 absolutely kills it in other apps. Now, the big difference between the two laptops that I'm reviewing, and I hate to say this because you guys are gonna just throw mud at me, is this comes with a 3070, the Gigabyte Aero 15, and the Asus Zephyrus G14 comes with a 3060. I know, I tried to get them the same, but I just couldn't do it. I can't always control what the vendors send me, so I gotta work with what I got. All right, first up, we're gonna look at Cinebench R20, and as you see, the Asus Zephyrus G14 absolutely crushes the Gigabyte Aero. Just, it's no, it's not even close. Cinebench R23, same thing. Moving on to Geekbench, uh, they start to even out a little bit, but as you can see, that Ryzen processor is absolutely killing it in Geekbench single core. Um, but in Geekbench multi-core, which really shocked me because Man, Ryzen is supposed to be like the multi-core king. Right here, we see the Gigabyte Aero 15 killing it in multi-core, but these are all simulated benchmarks. I really prefer real-world benchmarks, so let's get into those. In Autodesk 3DS Max, Autodesk Maya, and PTC Creo, we see the Gigabyte Aero 15 dominate the Asus Zephyrus G14. So if you're a 3D modeling guru, you wanna go with the Gigabyte Aero 15. However, if you're going into SolidWorks, I really wouldn't recommend either of these laptops because SolidWorks really benefits from Quadro GPUs. So check out like the HP ZBook Power or the Asus uh, Studio Book Pro 17. That's a great one as well. Okay, now looking at After Effects, man, they are almost neck and neck. However, because of the beefier GPU inside of the Gigabyte Aero 15, we see that the render scores in After Effects are going to be 100 points better than the G14. So if you can find a G14 with a 3070, you're going to probably be neck and neck. 
All right, next up, looking at 4K export test, you can see that the Gigabyte Aero 15 has the best export time I've ever seen on my channel at two minutes and 30 seconds. And then also with 1080p, you can see that the Gigabyte Aero XC kills it as well by beating out the G14 by almost a full minute. Now, moving on to DaVinci Resolve, DaVinci Resolve is something that Ryzen has always been far more optimized for, especially the fact that I use the free version of DaVinci Resolve. So if you're using the paid version, you might get better performance out of this, but I don't personally know because I always test on the free version of Resolve. Now, looking at 4K playback, you're going to have zero drop frames out of both the Asus Zephyrus G14 and the Gigabyte Aero 15, so you're good to go there as well. Regarding RAM configurations, it really doesn't matter how much RAM you have in the Asus Zephyrus G14 outside of if you drop it down to 8 gigs. Both with 16, 24, and 40 gigs of RAM, you have zero drop frames. However, if you get the Gigabyte Aero 15 XC with 16 gigs of RAM, you're going to have 1,185 drop frames inside of Premiere Pro during 4K playback. Whereas with the G14 with 16 gigs of RAM, you had zero drop frames. So as you can see, the Asus Zephyrus G14 is far more optimized for uh, Premiere Pro with just 16 gigs of RAM. Whereas with the Gigabyte Aero 15, you're going to want that 32 gigs of RAM. Looking at the Photoshop benchmark, you can see that the Gigabyte Aero 15 XC is beating out the Zephyrus G14, but the G14 has 16 gigs of RAM because I always test computers as the vendor sends them. And then what I'll do is I'll go back and I'll run more tests with different RAM configurations. So with that in mind, if you pull out the eight gig stick from the uh, G14 and put in a 16 and you make it a 24 gig configuration, you'll get an 860 in Photoshop. So these laptops become very close when you get the RAM closer. Photoshop really likes RAM, it, it just eats it up. So the more RAM you have for Photoshop, the better performance you're gonna get really out of either of these laptops. Though I will say that the Gigabyte is optimized at 32. Increasing it to 64 really didn't do anything. Next, we're gonna look at the uh, video editing thermal benchmark test. So whenever you're exporting a 4K clip out of Premiere Pro, we saw 72 degrees Celsius out of the Zephyrus G14 and 73 degrees Celsius out of the Gigabyte Aero. Big improvements for the G14 compared to last year. Um, pretty much the same thermals uh, from the Gigabyte Aero 15 from this year to last year. So still great thermals, runs quiet, has great fan modes, uh, both really went out in that area. So if you're an on-the-go creator, the Zephyrus G14 is a great pick, but there's one reason you may want to lean towards the Gigabyte Aero 15, and that is the color accurate screen. The Asus Zephyrus G14 comes with 100% Pantone validated sRGB, but it has 79% Adobe RGB, whereas the Gigabyte Aero 15 has 100% sRGB, 100% DCI P3, and 95% Adobe RGB, also Pantone validated. So if you're somebody who wants a more color accurate laptop, you may be leaning towards the Gigabyte by Aero 15. And if you're somebody who's doing 3D modeling, the Gigabyte Aero 15 is going to be your pick. Otherwise, they're both awesome picks and, you know, choose which one you want to go for. Links if you're ready to make a purchase, likes if this video has brought you some value, and subs if you don't want to miss out on the future uploads. I will see you here in the next video.